Hello StarCraft fans, this is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between TY and Bunny on Ruins of Ceres. In the top right side of the map we have the blue Terran player representing Team Liquid, it is Bunny. And in the bottom left side of the map we have the red Terran player representing KT Rolster, it is TY. So you'll notice this is the old interface because I had to go way, way back to November to find a Terran versus Terran professionally played. There were apparently no TVT matchups in the uh, 2016 Katowice tournament. So if you're a fan of TVT, this is for you. All right, so Terran versus Terran in Legacy of the Void it usually comes down to flying tanks and marines. But every once in a while, somebody will go mech. And I'm not entirely sure we've actually seen a player in TVT going mech actually win. So, we'll have to wait and see what happens here. Alright, so let's see what news is there. There's a new end slate. By now, you've probably seen it. I did away with the anti-spoiler stuff just because I felt like... I don't know, I didn't feel like it really helped at all. And, uh... I don't know. Just, I was kind of worried that people... Let's see, YouTube didn't feel like people are watching my entire videos because everybody stops before the uh, five minute to the end mark. And so we're going to see if this will kind of help YouTube boost my videos a little bit more and get more attention and stuff like that. So we'll see what that actually does. Again, thanks for your patience with it. We might go back to it later on, but for now we're going to stick to the little 20 second outro, which I think is pretty spiffy. Again, was made by Xlorin. Fantastic, fantastic dude. I'll put a link at the top right here to his stuff. Just amazingly talented StarCraft II player, and he has his own channel too. Check him out. Both players looking fairly standard. Orbital Command, Marines. We have a reactor coming up over here for Bunny. No such thing for TY though. He's just going straight into that Marine production. Nobody's even actually opening Reaper at this point. Just going for those Marines. And now oh, I'm a liar. Bunny's going for double pumped Reapers. I always forget that. I always forget you can use this reactor to get two Reapers at the same time. And that's exactly what Bunny's trying to do. So I like that choice. Command Center coming up for you here for TY a little bit earlier than Bunnies, but I believe TY should be able to hold this off without too much effort. Here he has Double Gas coming up, Double Gas at the same thing for Bunny back at home, throwing down a bunker at the front that should help with any aggression that tries to come up the ramp. And again, Reapers don't necessarily go up the ramp, but sometimes they poke their heads up if they can get killed by a bunker full of Marines, all the better for Liquid Bunny there. And actually chasing this SCV, pulls off building there and chases the SCV away. Oh, maybe so the Reaper... Can be sneaky. No, the Reaper actually looks like he's going directly after that SCV to reveal his location. So he's going to get a confirmed kill, which is always nice as a Reaper. But again, what that does is tells TY what's going on. He needs to be ready for Reapers that are going to come out here soon. He does have a... Was that a reactor coming up here on that barracks? So he has a couple Marines in positions to hold off Reapers if they try to hop up. So it makes sense. I like what's happening here. Oh, Bunny didn't scout though. Oh, Bunny does not know where TY is. So he's going to check this top left base. See, nothing is happening there. So, okay, this is a little bit awkward. I thought for sure my enemy would be here, but nope. It's not. Look what Bunny did check the bottom right, too, and he's heading to the bottom left, which is the correct location. The correct location. Is he going to wait for his friend or just try to go up there himself, which seems a little bit scary? Ah, Marines, look out, look out. There we go. Excellent defense there by TY. I mean, that's something that... I mean, TY in general is really good at defense. You'll notice the placement of his Marines here. Very, very good against Reapers. The places that the, Mar the Reapers can come in to kill your stuff. And if you can get shots off on a Reaper before it can hit you, generally good things happen here. But KD-8 charge getting dodged. Oh, hitting himself with the KD-8 charge there. That is not good at all. And sniping off one of the Mar Reapers there. Mmm, good snipe there indeed by TY. Bunny not able to do much of anything at all. I think he killed a single Marine. Yeah, I think he killed a single Marine there. And that was it. Lost a Reaper for it. Did not get any drone or SCV kills unless you're counting the one. That he killed up here at the Zalinga Watchtower, and I don't know that he necessarily does. So, what else is happening here in the production tab? Oh, a Cyclone on the way for Bunny, as well as, well, there's a couple of Hellions, Hellbats, two Widowmines. Widowmines on the way. Widowmines going to head on down in this here medevac. Going to try to get a Widowmine drop into this base. TY does have Marines, which are pretty good in defending against drops, but not necessarily good at chasing medevacs and killing Widowmines, just because Widowmine splash damage is so darn good. So darn good against Marines. Regardless, there are more. Uh, actually, that's a Viking coming out of that starport. A couple Marines coming there too. TYTY is really just kind of teching up, going for a Raven. I love that and continuing with his Marine production. Nobody has actually gone for a tank. And as soon as I say that, TY makes a tank. There it is. There's the tank. There's the Marine. More standard composition here from TY. Where on earth is that drop? Here it is. 
Here's the drop. Actually dropping some Marines and a Widowmine back here. What's going to come defend against this? A lot of Marines. Widowmine gets a shot off, kills a single SCV there, but every Marine, most of them on the ground die. Bunny does pull up the ones that he was worried about, and they managed to kill the Widowmine as well. Popping up here is the Reaper. Going to try to sneak into the main base. Can it be stopped? No, the Reaper manages to get inside the main. Gets a nice scout. Sees everything that is going on there and ends up dead. Did it die? Oh, the tank popped out. <laughs> The tank popped out and killed it, and my follow-up for some reason went up to these guys, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But Bunny is in full retreat now. Again, really, his harassment efforts have not done too much, too much at all. He is actually up 72 to 70 total harvesters on his opponent, on his red opponent here. Trying to drop again. Can the lock-on ability be used on this medevac? And it's going to try to do it here. A couple more shots. No, no, not able to. Can he kill the... Oh, the cyclone gets the marines, though. Actually, that might have been helped by the Raven throwing down the auto turret. But either way, the Medivac lives, Marines die, and the Cyclone lives too. So everybody lives to some extent on that attack. Everybody, unless you're a Marine, and Marines are fairly expendable. I think in the StarCraft II universe, there's really no reason to think that your lifespan is going to be anything at all if you are a Marine. No offense, no offense intended for those Marines who are watching this cast. But man, you die easy. Third command center on the way here for Bunny. Any such command center? Indeed it is. TY throwing his out too. Both players getting that plus one, plus one. Stim on the way for TY. Does he have Stim over in Camp Bunny? The answer is no. No, indeed he does not. So TY uh, really cannot be dissuaded from going his Marine Tank Raven type play here. Does he have a Cyclone too? I think he does have a Cyclone. Yes, he has the Cyclone with two kills. So I guess... He's not going pure Marine Tank. He does have some support units there, but Bunny seems to be a little bit more on the side of things, not just going pure Marine Tank. He's definitely getting more Cyclones, getting some Vikings too, which are always very nice here. Cyclone versus Cyclone. Two Cyclones, though, and ends up dead and running away before the auto turret can kill it. Nice run. Nice run there. Cyclone, not many hit points left, but the auto turret doesn't last forever, as we can see there in Legacy of the Void. Marines, tanks. Hanging out at the front here. Production tab looking really big for both of these players. Completely under the name of TY right now. That plus one, plus one just about to finish for the player. And a bit of an attack here. Just a little bit of poking by Bunny. Just sees what's going on. And then heads on out. Marine, Cyclone, three Marines have the job to come up here and check the Zalnaga Watchtower. Can they see what is happening or will they just be killed? They might just be killed, actually. Yep. The range here on the Cyclone is a little bit too much. Especially with that lock-on ability. The not enough DPS on the Marines to really keep them alive. But all these Marines are coming up now. This guy holding the Zalinga Watchtower is going to die very quickly. Blorp. And Zalinga Watchtower is now held by TY. And he's pushing out too. He's got Marines. He's got Medivacs that can heal them up. Are there any tanks? A Raven is heading out there. But he's leaving his tanks at home for defense. This is weird. This is actually kind of odd. Another Marine dies at this Zalinga Watchtower. TY is very interested at holding that. Third base up. Tanks in similar positions to what TY is doing. From Liquid Bunny Armory. On the way from TY2 and plus two, plus two, starting now for Liquid Bunny. Here comes the push. Tank shot. Yeah, it's not a great place to go exactly. TY just pokes on in and says, you know what? I'm not going to deal with tanks. Tanks a little bit too scary with this pure marine force, even with plus one, plus one, even with it. And he doesn't have combat shield either yet, which is a little bit scary too. So he's going to try and drop somewhere. He might try to drop. But these Cyclones, very low on health, but still good at taking down medevacs very quickly. Especially with that auto cast. On the lock-on, 400 damage over 14 seconds and can move while firing. Medivacs have 150 hit points, which means it doesn't take the full time for these Cyclones to kill them. It's probably about 7 seconds, I would have to say. But the Marines actually coming down to the low ground. Hmm, not going to try to drop in here at all, actually. Another drop back here, Marines. Going after, going to everything, picking on up, taking tank shots and boosting on out of there. That's another small attack here as Bunny comes to reclaim this Zelnaga Watchtower couple marines heading on across this area too and ty doesn't really want to engage here look out oh tank shots oh big old tank shots taking a lot of damage off those marines nicely done there by bunny apm to this point is about 270 for ty closer to 200 for liquid bunny on average throughout this game another big push here 164 to 171 total supply very close very close match thus far nobody has really been able to get a good haymaker in do any level of damage really the either player here, I think maybe three or four SCVs have died thus far. There goes the medevac, and there's a couple SCVs getting killed here. Nothing really defending them at all. One Marine hurrying on down here from the right side, but he might just end up getting killed here. A bunch of his friends show up, and here comes the attempted drop. They do manage to get in. Can they get to the engineering bay before the uh, upgrade finishes? Might be able to do it. The tanks come in and shoo, shoo away the Marines and attack at the front here by TY as well. Oh, snap. 
Double pronged attacks coming from our Korean Terran player. Another big attack here, but not enough tank. There we go. There are the tanks for TY. Who's going to win the battle back here? I don't know. Are the tanks actually doing fairly well against these Marines? The Marines, however, are taking a lot of SCVs with them. Big splash damage now on those Marines. Absolutely getting hammered. Big reinforcements coming up from the south, though, from TY. Bunny needs to be able to hold here. I don't know how he's going to be able to do it. A fourth base coming up for TY. Fourth command center there for Bunny. He seems a little bit... A little bit too nervous maybe to land it over there, but no, he's going to give it a shot anyway, despite the fact there are tons of Marines and tanks flying on up into this area. We're going to go ahead and zoom out just a little bit, and who's going to win this battle? The tanks are splashing all over Bunny. He's pushing into the tanks, but no, decides not to. Decides to back on out instead. Marines and tanks still, I don't think he knows about this base, or he'd go up and try to snipe it immediately. Bunny's being a little bit... Uh a little bit courageous in doing that. The Raven now has scattered it. Sees exactly what's going on. TY probably wants to deny that. If I had to take a guess as to what TY wants to do, I think he would deny it. Plus two, plus two on those Marines. The tanks have no upgrades at all. And auto turrets being tossed down. They expire so quickly. So darn quickly. They really do. So plus two, plus two versus plus two and plus two. The tanks have no upgrades on this side of things. The blue tanks do have that plus one attack, which can be useful. In this type of a situation. So here we go. Marines, tanks, boosting right on in here. The tanks trying to get in range, but just taking huge shots instead. Bunny coming from the bottom side here, trying to crush on through all these tanks. All that's left are really tanks here for TY, but are they enough? Look at that tank micro. Indeed, after getting landed, it does take a while, but a huge drop back here for due from TY going after production facilities. There are tanks, there are Marines. Finally forced to fall back and try to hold on his own main. Does he have anything left here? To fight against this, I don't know. Trying to bring in small groups of Marines, small groups of tanks flying on into, but all the Marines are just getting absolutely killed. The rest of the main army is coming through here too. Finally should be able to kill them, but TY picks up and boosts on out while these tanks go to town just out of the range of this planetary fortress and taking care of all of those SCVs. This is completely money for TY right now. Not looking at all great for our blue Terran player. Plus three, plus three on the way. For TY2, feeling pretty darn confident in himself. His entire army is finally cleaned up inside the main base, but losing a barracks there too. Losing his engineering base, losing so many SCVs. It is currently 64 to 53 harvesters. TY has a 10 worker lead and a full base. Basically a fully saturated base here. I'm not sure that mules necessarily count, but I mean, Bunny is mining here, which is good. So it's pretty even to this point, but is he going for that plus three, plus three? He's not. Once TY has that plus three attack and plus three armor, it's going to be very, very hard for Bunny to come back here, but can he do it? I believe he can. Bunny is a very strong Terran player. We've seen him prove himself in tournaments before. Another Marine sneaky drop. Going to come along here, try to drop inside this area outside of the Planetary Fortress range. Oh, look at that. Just outside of the range. Oh, no, not outside the range. Actually, losing a Marine there a little bit carelessly. Two Marines. Surprisingly, another big attack coming up here. Tanks on the low ground. Marines just trying to snipe down refineries. They are going to get the refinery. Pulling back to the safety of the tanks. Bunny is forced to abandon this base entirely here. Another drop back here is cleaned up. But the attack at the front is looking super dangerous. Again, dropping inside the main base here is TY. Going after everything that is available. Barracks and starports are just getting shelled right now. And coming in from the left side, though, is Bunny. He wants to clean this up as much as he can. Can he get through tanks on the high ground? Causing a lot of trouble for him, too. Tanks on the low ground crashing onto the tanks on the high ground. Tank versus tank here. Marine versus Marine picking up. TY is still wanting to cause mayhem. Says, you can kill me from the low ground, but not if I'm clear up here. That's out of range. So many SCVs are just getting massacred. All the ones on the gas and then picking up again, just running away. TY has done major damage to Liquid Bunny's economy. 64 to 38 total supply. The drops for TY have just been insane. They're exactly what he needs to win this match. A Big swell of reinforcements coming up from TY2. That plus three finish, it is not, but it will be there very soon, as well as plus two vehicle weapons. 198 to 124 total supply. TY is in full control of this match, dropping auto turrets, killing even more SCVs. Oh, man, down to 33 workers, 32. Is Bunny Bunny needs to make this happen. He needs to win this battle immediately, but so many tanks, so many Marines coming up. They don't care about the plus three attack at all. There it is, the plus three, plus three now finishing, though. The Marines are immortal, and that's it. A GG from Bunny. Bunny's defeated. TY is victorious, and Bunny has left the game. Ha! Ah, strong, strong display there by TY. Just absolutely held off that early aggression from Bunny without really losing anything at all. I wish I could tell exactly how many SCVs he's lost, but... I can't say it was more than maybe three or four. I guess some of the later drops did some more damage, but that early stuff, nothing happened. Nothing doing. TY held that off.
Huge drop in the main base, doing a ton of damage there, taking out engineering base. Uh, never ever let Bunny completely get this fourth base up while at the same time and never really being harassed on his own fourth base. And that added up to extra upgrades, extra time for upgrades, bigger army compositions, better micro decisions, and TY takes the victory. So that's it from our TVT today. This has been Falcon Paladin with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.